Hey y'all, welcome back to another ballistics gel test and I've got one for you today that a lot of people have requested. It is the Federal Fusion 62 grain load in 223 Remington. Now a lot of people hunt deer with 223 a whole lot more, say you shouldn't do it. Let's shoot this stuff into ballistics gel and see what happens. And here's the box for that Federal Fusion 223 load. There's your little deer identifier, that's what this stuff is meant for. Bonded soft point, we'll see how it does here in a second. Here is your promo information on the Fusion Bullet. Feel free to pause and read all that if you would like to. Coming over here is your ballistics information. And then let's go ahead and open up the box and take a look at the stuff. Per standard, it comes in Federal's plastic holders with the belt loops. And then it's got your blue lacquer sealed primers, just like, as far as I know, all Federal ammo. Yank one out nice clean brass it's i wish the camera would focus the sun is going in and out between clouds it's killing my camera here anyway there's your fusion bullet let's load some up shoot it and see how it does and the test rifle today is my cz527 carbine it's got an 18 or 18 and a half inch barrel i don't exactly recall chambered in 223 of course up top i've got a vortex crossfire 2 3 to 9 by 40 scope and coming on back i've got one of my leather cartridge pouch cuffs which incidentally perfectly holds a CZ527 magazine, coincidentally enough, so it works for that as well. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would absolutely love to make you one. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you, I've got my wild boar design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that Federal Fusion 62 grain load out of the 223. We did manage to capture all three bullets. The first one is, it's hard to see in the camera, it's way down in the middle of this block, almost hitting the seam right here. The second one is right there. If I open this up, it would probably fall out. And the third one is right there. So penetration wise, I'm going to give this one and this one the same. They're right there at about 15 and a half inches. And then this one made it to about 18 inches, a little bit past 18. And then coming on back to the first block, we had some wound cavity open up at about just before the two inch mark coming on back. We got some good wound cavity and then it, it kind of keeps going and it tapers off real slowly, a little bit slower than most. Usually they're closed up by here, um, but the majority of it tapers off by about the, you know, seven and a half, eight inch mark. Pretty standard for 223 from what I'm seeing. And then real quick, since I've got the camera rolling, these blocks are the Federal Premium 55 grain Barnes TSX bullet. You can see the wound cavity right there on those. And this Federal Fusion cavity looks a, about the same as far as width. It goes a little bit deeper though, for whatever that's worth. And let's take a look at the velocities for what might be the most requested 223 load that I am testing, the 62 grain Federal Fusion are high is 2726 our low is 2661 and our average is 2697 and here we are looking at none other than those federal fusion 62 grain bonded soft points fired from my cz carbine and these are doing what federal fusion bullets do i mean across calibers they just they just perform and let's jump into it weight retention we saw 61 62 and 62 grains respectively for an average of 62 grains retained weight so that works out to 100 percent weight retention a bonded bullet it's not even a solid copper bullet but it's bonded lead and copper and we still managed to get 100 percent retained weight absolutely phenomenal expansion wise same story 0.51 inches across the board same exact expanded diameter for each bullet that's 2.3x expansion phenomenal expansion from a 223 on to velocity our high was 2726 our low 
2661 for an average of 2697 versus the factory build velocity of 3000 feet per second. So this is the most disappointing metric for this particular load. We came in 303 feet per second slower on average than the factory build velocity. Now, no doubt the factory was using a 24 inch test barrel like they like to do. Even though most people shooting a 223 today are going to be doing it from a 16 or 18 inch barrel, it is what it is. But this stuff is coming in quite a bit slower than every other load that I have tested. I think this is the slowest versus factory build 223 that I've tested thus far. But also at the same time, velocity is really the last thing I'm worried about. If the bullet performs, it performs. And then on the penetration, we saw 15 and a half, 15 and a half and 18 inches respectively for an average of 16 and a half inches of penetration. And that is right there in there with a lot of the other deer oriented 223 loads that aren't Barnes TSX bullets. The Barnes TSX is just, they, they out penetrate everything else. It's not even close, but this is very similar to a lot of the other ones that I've already tested or will in the very near future. Those videos are shot. I just haven't released them yet. Or maybe I have, depending on when you're watching this. And then on to Kinetic Energy, with a 62 grain bullet going on average 2,697 feet per second, we are looking at 1,001 foot-pounds of energy at the muzzle, which is, I believe, the weakest 223 load I have tested thus far, and that is due to that just dismal velocity that we saw. So while these bullets expand really well, hold their weight together, and even penetrate pretty good, they're not hitting with a whole lot of authority. All right, y'all, time for my final thoughts on that Federal Fusion 62 grain bonded soft point load out of the 223. I've had a lot of people contact me asking me to review this load. Well, here it is. We've finally done it. And I'd be lying if I didn't tell you that I was really looking forward to testing this out as well. So let's go ahead and go over it. These things did what Federal Fusions do across the board, which is basically dominate every metric that we look at. 100% weight retention. Every bullet was still, well, one of them was 61 grains. The other two were 62. There might have been some little bits of ballistics gel caught up in there. I try to get most of it out. But even if you take that into consideration... 100% or almost 100% weight retention, absolutely incredible performance there. Expansion was incredible as well, 2.3x expansion, very uniform around the entire circumference of the bullet, like every Fusion bullet that I have tested, they just perform beautifully. Velocity-wise, this is where this load takes a hit. For whatever reason, these came in 303 feet per second slow, versus stated velocity out of my rifle. The factory stated velocity is 3,000 feet per second. These came in on average 2,697 feet per second. So these things are plodding along. And that is substantially slower than any other 223 load I've tested out of this very same rifle. So it's not like it's a particularly slow barrel or something like that. I've tested a lot of loads through it. These are way slower than anything else. Why that is, I don't know. But regardless, the bullet still performed extremely well and velocity is kind of the last thing I'm worried about. And if nothing else, you can just be rest assured that if you are shooting this load out of a somewhat shorter barrel, 16, 18 inches, it's still going to do really well for you. And then on to penetration, we saw 16 and a half inches on average, which is pretty good. It's in line with a lot of other 223 loads that I have tested. It's not as deep as your solid copper bullets, your Barnes TSXs, your Hornady CXs. Those are going to penetrate deeper, but I still think penetration is pretty good for what this is. And so on to kinetic energy with a 62 grain bullet going on average 2,697 feet per second, you're only looking at 1,001 foot pounds of energy at the muzzle. So this is, I believe, the weakest 223 load that I have tested for whatever that's worth. The bullet still performed really, really good. So make that what you will. Take that metric, file it away. But if you wanted to know, there you go. So what would I use this ammo for? Well, it, it did perform really well across the board, except on that velocity mark. I wish it would have been going a bit faster so we could see a higher energy number. It's just kind of weak compared to a lot of other 223 loads that I've tested. 
especially compared to some other deer oriented 223 loads I've tested, which is what this is meant for. So I, I wish it was going a bit faster. I wish it was loaded a little bit hotter. And personally for me, this load, it's, it sort of stacks up underneath the solid copper monolithic loads for me in terms of 223 medium game hunting. Just my opinion, personally, I would steer more towards a TSX, something like that, as opposed to this in 223, because we're talking about, you know, tiny bullets, not a whole lot of energy. I want penetration. These, thing, these things ain't going to be dumping a whole ton of energy and knocking a deer off of its feet. I want as much penetration as I can get so I can hopefully get an exit wound. And then, of course, a blood trail to track if I'm going to need to. If you've used this load on deer, let me and everyone else know in the comments how it did for you. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests. I have some big news. Lots of you have emailed me or commented how much value you get out of my videos. And you've asked me how can you be a part of this and help support the channel. Well I got to work and now I have a way. I've created a Patreon account where you can join me in helping our fellow hunters. Click the link in this video's description and watch my Patreon welcome video, where I describe to you how your help will impact this channel and our community of hunters as a whole. And when you join me on Patreon, you'll get a lot more than I can give you here on YouTube. You'll have to go watch that welcome video linked in the description to find out the details. I'll see you there.